this is Force of 13. In this update, we look at Hurricane Sergio. Here's the latest from the National Hurricane Centre. Sergio is now side riding over the Eastern Pacific. Sergio is located 14 decimal 9 degrees north, 123 decimal 5 degrees west, about 10.45 miles west southwest of the southern tip of Baja, California. Maximum sustained winds 125 miles an hour. Pressure movement southwest at 8 miles per hour. Minimum central pressure is 951 millibars. There were no warnings and watches in place. Sergio is moving towards the southwest near 8 miles per hour, 13 kilometers an hour, and is forecast to slow down and make a sharp northeastward turn over the weekend into early next week. And as and maximum sustained winds are near 125 miles per hour, 205 kilometres with higher gusts. So GA is a Category 3 hurricane on the Sanford Simpson hurricane wind scale. Now we have a look at the life of the system. Hurricane force winds extend outward up to 35 miles or 55 kilometers from the center and tropical storm force winds extend outward up to 185 miles or 295 kilometers. Sergio has changed little in structure since the last advisory. It still has a 25 to 30 nautical mile wide eye surrounded by cold convector tops and with not much change in intensity estimates. The estimate maximum winds remain 110 knots. Sergio's intensity is not likely to change much during the next day or two, although some slight weakening is possible as the hurricane speed slows down and it upwells some colder water from below. Now here's the latest information from the National Hurricane Centre, uh, the Winfield track. or possible due to internal structure changes more definitive weakening is anticipated by days four and five due to an increase in westerly and southwesterly shear and the hurricane reaching colder waters the nhc intensity forecast remains close to a blend of the icon Consensus and the HCCA model. However, the statistical dynamical models remain a bit higher. It is possible that Sergio won't lose quite as much punch during the next several days as is indicated by the official forecast. A shortwave trough swinging across the Baja California Peninsula will bypass Sergio during the day, leaving a weakness in the ridge that will allow the hurricane to begin making a sharp northward and then northeastward turn during the next 24 to 72 hours. Now here's some 
models, track guidance, and a couple from the Tropical Tidbits website. Another shortwave trough forecast to dig southward off the California coast will cause the hurricane to accelerate northeastward on days 4 and 5. Notable changes in this forecast update include a slightly wider turn from 24 to 72 hours and more spread in the model speeds once Sergio accelerates towards the Baja California Peninsula. As is usually the case in these scenarios, the CMWF is much slower than the other models and because of that the new NHC forecast is a bit slower than the previous one especially on day five. Now we look at the experimental late cycle track guidance. The early cycle track guidance, you can see the different models, the uh, individual colours. And the GEFS track, this is on the Tropical Tidbits website. Another look at intensity. And it's only one indicating a cat four. And we have a look at the NOAA floater sea surface temperature around 29 degrees Celsius. But the uh, 25 to 30 nautical mile I really stands out. I'm hoping uh, in the next five days I might be able to capture the International Space Station flying over it. And the space station uh, flew over the typhoon, or I should say tropical storm, Kong Ray early this afternoon. Japan time. Now we have a look at the upper level divergence. It's not as strong as what I've seen with previous uh, systems. Wind shear and the red is unfavourable. The A50 millibar vorticity. You can see Wallaka and Sergio. And finally, the shear tendency, the tropical system sub the area in blue and green. Force 13 will continue to bring the latest information across all systems, including this one. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. You can also find our YouTube page. You're probably there already, but if not, subscribe if you haven't so far. You can also find our Facebook page, Force 13 All in Text. And it's at Force 13 on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch with us on there. You can also help the project become even better by enjoying the benefits of patronage. You can find out more information about how to become a patron and what those benefits are at patreon.com forward slash Force 13. You can also add Force 13 on Skype and Fool 13 at extension 9094 on Discord for tropical weather chat.